I'm getting a little afraid. The kind of LLMs that are popping up and the insane power that they are picking is just crazy. I've talked about Claude Upas in the previous video and since purchasing it, I've kind of used it extensively for code generation, for doing research, assessments, evaluation of new technologies, studying research paper, and it's just amazed me all the times. I'm kind of now gaining a pessimistic view that yes, definitely jobs are at a danger. And with this kind of an LLM, which is Gorilla, which we'll talk about, it just reinforces this idea. Maybe there's a new wave of jobs coming, which I'm not aware of, or we have not yet imagined, but there is definite shift coming up. So let's dive in. Welcome back to the channel. Gorilla is a large language model connected with massive APIs. And how massive? It's trained on three massive machine learning hub datasets, Torch Hub, TensorFlow Hub, and Hugging Face. And these three combines contain so much data from the machine learning world and their APIs are extensively and widely used. And they are rapidly adding more domains. They are talking about Kubernetes, GCP, AWS, OpenAI, and much more. And Zero Shot Gorilla outperforms GPT-4, Chat GPT, and Claude in their own benchmarks around evaluation of APIs and stuff. So they are kind of talking about a couple of examples like open functions, which will take a look. We'll try Gorilla in 60 seconds. Just there's a simple collab. So essentially, this is the vision that they are trying to drive. So Gorilla LLM interacts with the world. A prompt is given by a developer and Gorilla gives you the response. Right now, there is kind of a prompt engineer sitting in between, but they kind of want to change that and think a little differently. So they have shown a simple example where the prompt is help me find an API to convert the spoken language in a recorded audio to text using Torch Hub. GPT-4 did not give a correct response, neither did Claude, while Gorilla did. So this is not really a very young paper, which is not came in 2024. However, this is gaining a lot of traction. Let's hop on to GitHub. So they have every element available out here. It's completely written in Python, a little bit JavaScript and other stuff gaining little active traction around it. And uh, there is try Gorilla in 60 seconds, which will take a look. So what they have is you can play around with Gorilla here. They have posted the Gorilla zero shot models, so we can just use them, but they're just putting a caution that don't use it for commercial purposes. So let's just connect and see how much of this we are able to run. Okay, this is already run. So uh, let's see a simple use case where there's a translation. I would like to translate. I feel very good today from English to Chinese. And the idea is not to convert the text into Chinese. The idea is to generate the API calls, the code and build the translation pipeline that can help convert it. So they have a load model. They have a process text. They have the input. They have the translation model. They have the response. So basically, it's kind of giving you the code and that's where the API calls and the training on some sort of specified, specialized data sets like TensorFlow Hub and Torch Hub, et cetera, are helping. It can work with object detection, like they want to build a robot that can detect objects in an image, let's say cat, and there's a cat image provided. And again, it will get into transformers, auto feature extractor, PIL from image, Torch, all of the code required. It can also do Torch Hub, you can fine tune it and you can use Gorilla commercially with no obligations. You can tailor it to your use cases. If you are a, if you have internal APIs and stuff, you can use it to do that. And uh, they are talking about deprecations, which is good. And then again, simple language translations, problem, etc. So this is basically trying to generate code for given a certain kind of problem. What they have off lately matured into is talking about something called as an open function, which is like end of November. And open functions is designed to extend the LLM chat completion feature. 
So basically what it does is it helps formulate executable API calls given natural language and some API context. We'll see how this looks, but essentially you could have anything. You could have an AWS API. You could give it information about AWS infrastructure and all of that and provide it JSON and it will do a self-instruct with in-context samples, et cetera, et cetera. Like it will just help you get the output. There's a very interesting video that these guys show. So I'll just run this quickly. Switch to 4K. Yeah. So what the user is trying to do is do a gorilla list all GCP instances. So basically, it's trying to get all instances running on GCP, and it's giving you some options like instances list. It's also giving you certain formats, and you can basically select that format, and it's interacting with the world. So this is the notion that they are trying to essentially sell. It can get into a little bit more specific, like get all files in the current directory, and it will be able to just give you some options, and um, you can just select whatever the output is. So this kind of interaction is really, really useful because now you are not just generating code; you are giving it questions, and you are giving it prompts, and you are expecting a more mature answer, a complete code. And given the fact that it is aware of all the context around your cloud infrastructure, your API landscape, etc., it will give you a very robust answer. So this is uh, the Gorilla Functions conversation, and uh, the same set of warnings apply. So what you need to do is Gorilla Open Functions is a drop-in replacement for OpenAI Function Call API, right? And let's just look how they work rather than going through the documentation. So here's a function documentation. You have name, order food on Uber, you have the API call, you have the description, and you have the parameters specified. So this could be like a open API doc or anything like that. And you can then ask your question, which is frame your question conversationally. Uh, for instance, like I want to order five burgers, etc., and get your function call. So you provided this input that I want to order five burgers and six chicken wings from McDonald's and it will you have the context of the function documentation and it will just give you the specifics of the api calls and provide you items parameters etc rightly captured so if you take take a look at simple weather api so this is a open api open ai json get current context so send the conversation for available functions to gpt these are the functions available like get current weather and you are routing it through open ai conversation and uh, this is just output of how gorilla is performing so let's say if you have an uber api given and you ask call me an uber ride etc etc it will just have this context which is function documentation and it can generate the calls for you so this is taking it a step ahead and not just giving you the call but it's getting you the entire response packaged by executing the query given the function context is available to it and using this, you can, you know, do a variety of options. For example, you have functions like you are capturing your cloud infrastructure where you have domain, your functionality, you have some API names like uh, and some parameters. I'm not familiar with what is Lex V2 models. Is there something else? Okay, this seems to be like a Lex bot maybe, which is the voice bot or the chat bot. But uh, so the question is, I want to list the exports of my bot with the bot ID, etc., and version, and it will give you all the options like exact specific API instructions accordingly. And uh, you have a couple of options available like uh, models available, open functions version zero, which is given a function in user intents returns properly formatted JSON with right arguments. And uh, open functions version one, you can have parallel functions and you can choose between functions, which is it's giving you a couple of options to choose for and uh, you can then also do a little bit of function calling from open ai and finally the workflow becomes something like you have a user query you have the function invocation it will parse and execute and give you the response so the vision that they are trying to chase essentially as i showed in the visualization is they want gorilla to interact with the world and instead of you taking a chat prompt 
and a query and submitting it in a certain place and getting a response gorilla is kind of flipping the game and doing those interactions for you and to extend this i'm pretty sure you guys have talked about devon and uh, you know the first software engineer that's coming out and it can do coding do a lot of capabilities put in the comments if you are interested in a deep dive on this and you want me to kind of give some sort of an assessment around it but the the long story short is that these conversations around large language models are really getting crazy there's lot of deep useful and relevant stuff coming by the day and it's really really important to keep on learning about this and see how can you apply this within your ecosystem and you know this the sticker is like just crazy it's mit cmu cisco vv8 microsoft nvidia tesla linkedin they are just using this across the places all right so that's the conversation about gorilla the large language model connected with massive apis if you like the conversation give a thumbs up or put in a comment if you want to talk about something else till next video bye bye